hello friends today we are going to learn clock memory generation and the clock memory uh, symbol functions to saving in that uh, symbol okay so as discussed we are last uh, we are open the 300 hardware configuration so i open the same project in that we have to go first the symmetric 300 in that you have to go hardware in that hardware function if you see that cpu okay you have to just make a double click on that in that if you see the first car clock and memory okay in that if you see the option is not enabled okay here we can get up to eight types of clock bits it's a different frequency so now i am enabled the clock one so which it's it's a user defined whatever memory you want you can occur i am i am using two okay now the clock memories are generated now the system is ready so i just to open our uh, simulation for the testing purpose okay so i i just downloading the hardware to my my simulator plc okay now the plc is hardware is downloaded and now my online is gone my okay so now the hardware part is ready okay so we are going to test where the function is working on it so in that click blocks and the insert new object in that variable table in that i put the table name is called a clock okay set clock bits okay i just create in that if you see i am opening the clocks so here we are i am going to insert that variables okay eight bits data so just click and insert the row variables so which memory we are going to add so i am using m 2 is my memory then i am using in eight eight bits of data okay so you see if the eight bits of data came here and uh, I am going to the online. You see, my clock bits are started here. Okay, so this clock bits we are using for at any like a horn alarm, audible warnings, or flashing the lights for the alarms or tripper signals like that. So if you checking this kind of alarms, so we are we need to give the symbols. This is the symbol. This address of that. So I can put flash 10 hertz. Sorry. So I just uh, given online. If you see the flag bits are. So we are going to check some trial on this bits. Okay. So I just minimize this tab. Then I am going to just check my symbols. In the my symbol table, if you see what are the clock bits I am use here is not generated. Okay, so I just am missing flash ten hertz. The address is m two point zero. Okay, so in that same flash, then next one will become the half of the clock then next one will come the 2.5 hertz then another one will be at 2 hertz and another one comes the 1.2 then 1 hertz I think it should be a 0.65. Then final one is the 0.5. Okay, so once we enter the table, oh, sorry, it's a 0.5 hertz. Okay, now I will save the tables. Okay, now the tables also save. Now we go test the function. Okay. 
okay it's working or not now i am going to the ob1 so it's our testing function so i just check my system is blog is not found so i want to download the ob data okay now system is yes now my system is normal okay now we are going to test the flash bits okay in that i am using the symbol functions okay here i am using the no then i am making the addressing of m 2.0 okay then my output so i make q 0.1 that means q0.1 not a trip okay so this may this memory bit i am assigning in manually so i 0.2 I zero dot two. Main data mod mod dot. CV means circuit breaker. Okay. Okay. Now I just downloading. So now we are going to the online. If you see the motor trip light is not enabled. Okay. Oh, if you see in my hardware, in that if you see in my Q zero point zero, it's not in line. So the one is I given the trip, okay. So I enabling the signal of I zero point two. Then if you see my clock bits, the ten gets, okay. So that's I change this to better understanding. I am changing to two point five. Okay, one kilo, one hertz. so if you see here see if my motor is tripped so my signal is indicating my motor is tripped you can you can use as say any defined based on your requirement okay so i just strip the signal is switched off now you see the motor trip is not visible okay be any doubts in that you can leave the message in my comment section sure i will help you thank you